The ministry's call volume had already rose through the pandemic, and now the abortion law change is adding to it. Suzanne Burns, the founder and executive director for Foundation House Ministries, had a feeling that would happen with them being the only maternity home in over a 100-mile radius. When we are asking women to choose life for their children, that, that's, a, that's a big picture. They have to be able to actually provide life for their children, and that's where homes like ours come in. Since opening, they've housed over 100 mothers in their residential program and over 600 in their non-residential program, offering parenting classes and various basic social services at no cost. Byrne says the community's help will be needed to meet the demand. We have expectations of being able to increase our um, um, offices in other parts of the counties that we serve and housing follow that not too long after as well. So donations today help us not only serve the moms we have, but also help us to reach more moms as we grow and expand. Morgan Stevenson joined the program nearly two years ago after birthing her child with no support system. In September of 2021, she graduated from the program and stuck around to help others who were in a similar situation. So now um, I am taking over a role as VISTA for Foundation House. So um, I'm really getting out in the community and trying to spread the word about us and let people know um, what we do and why we do it and why it's so needed in our community, in our town. She credits the program for turning her life around. Everything in my life um, has, has turned around and I can only give credit to this place. Um, there were so many things about myself that I didn't even realize were a problem or I didn't think was a problem.